Good evening, good evening, and welcome to the Mingos of Evil Life. And for those of you who are wondering where, where was Vanessa last week, <laughs> I've been working a lot, working a lot, and I couldn't connect last week, but I'm here today, okay? I'm here today, and today we're speaking about the moment of truth the moment of truth, okay? So let's dive right in. And you may be asking, what does she mean by that, right? Well, as we enter new levels of higher consciousness, it may feel on a scale from some discomfort to an extreme one in any of the areas of our life. Okay, because we are being moved to new levels of consciousness. At the present, we are being nudged for this. And even some of us forced to the higher level of enlightenment. And we may ask why, why is this happening now? What's happening, what's going on, right? Well, there is a scientific explanation for it. And it is that never before, our beautiful planet had received more rain of light or light codes showering us and pushing our levels of enlightenment to a higher state to a higher state as well as that of the planet. Okay, and, and then as light comes down on the planet, it illuminates everything. And although we're being showered with light, and light is the same as love, okay? Because it is the core, the fundamental material of the universe. We are light beings and everything, right? Photons of light. Everything is photons of light. And the higher vibrate, the highest vibration that we can that we can pair to light is love. So we're being showered with love right now. Okay, with, with light and love. And uh, as light comes down, as I was saying, on the planet, it illuminates everything. And although we're being showered with light and love. And ascended states of consciousness, right? Pushing us to those ascended states of consciousness. This light also has a flip side to it. I must say that because as I'm always explaining here in the polarity of an atom, there is positive and there is negative. So a lot of positive things can happen if we permit them, and a lot of negative things can happen also, okay? And we're going to speak today about both, about both. Uh, with this amount of light, it also means that nothing can hide, nothing can hide any longer. So everything that was in darkness before or was kept hidden won't be able to exist anymore, which will also create an increased level of chaos in the universe, okay, in the world. Specifically for us, this may look like more violence, more disputes, more wars happening, a systemic injustices, conflicts, right, conflict increase, but as I said, this is all temporary. You shouldn't be afraid, okay? It is temporary and the end of it, it is for a good purpose because the universe is always searching for its own balance. And beyond the chaos, what's really going on or happening is a cleansing of everything that couldn't be seen before and that now it's coming to the surface to be revealed and wiped off. 
okay? Contributing to the collective consciousness also, right? Because we are all entangled one with another. Although we may seem separate, everything is connected. Energy cannot be separated, cannot be just like air. You cannot cut it. It is fluid. You cannot cut it. So uh, we do affect the collective consciousness. And also it means that if we are experiencing all these uh, bad things like wars and all that, right? Our emotions are going to be negative ones and we're going to affect the collective consciousness. So the energy fields in the universe or the world are going to be very dense, are going to be felt for us very, very dense. The higher the, le the level of negative emotions on the collective consciousness, the more we are going to feel them because we are all interconnected, as I said. As light and electromagnetic beings that we all are, this shower, this shower of light will make us feel more tired. I don't know about you, but lately, uh, for the past month, uh, because I am an empath, I, I feel the environment, the density, getting stronger and stronger, str stronger, denser and denser and denser. And uh, this makes us feel very tired, tired, perhaps not wanting to get up from bed, right? We want to stay more than the normal time we stay on bed. So uh, this may also bring a lot of revelations and truths about our own selves and in our environment, like with people, workplace, family, social truths, health truths, and, and in relationships, truths about relationships, economic truths and financial truths, government truths coming up, religion uh, truths, dogmas and beliefs, behaviors, attitudes, habits of all kinds are going to burst up to be cleansed, okay? Because now... Uh, we are all being called to act upon the authenticity of our soul in any or perhaps multiple of these areas of life. And by this I mean, I mean that perhaps uh, relationships that were staying there together because of the economic aspect of the relationship are going to be broken a uh, workplace, a uh, work, uh, jobs that we used to do perhaps because uh, I do it, I'm not happy there, but I do it because uh, it gives me a lot of financial stability or whatever, right? All these excuses that we use, not gonna, we're gonna be moved to act in the authenticity of our hearts. No more those things are going to be able to stand up, okay? Expect to receive clarity and truth. Awakenings happening all across. Awakening, people awakening to their own truth and to the truth of life at all levels. And for you, you can apply it wherever in your life it resonates. Okay, these truths will transform you, will transform you. And my suggestion is to let them, to let them, because they always will lead you to a better place, always. Since we, we, we live in a world of free will and choice in the polarity of our divine material energy, we have a wide spectrum to decide how that level of intensity or difficulty of these transformations are going to happen for us. 
okay? We are the creators of that. Never forget that, okay? At the same time, know and take responsibility about how we contribute to the collective because we are entangled with everything and everyone there is. We do contribute with our energy to the collective energy also, okay? So if we are vibrating low, the world is, is going to be vibrating low, okay? So we need to counteract these denser energies by clearing our energy on a daily basis. Depending on the level of resistance to those transformational truths, and experiences, we will determine how smooth or how rough the ride is going to be for us personally or for everybody, for the collective also, okay? And sorry for the spoiler alert, but uh, if you decide that you're not going to cooperate and you want to put a lot of resistance in your life, let me tell you that that you're into, you're getting into a harsh ride, okay? Because you're not flowing with energy. You're going, you're resisting it. As I always explain, this divine material's behavior will always, always prevail to your own perspective and desires of how things should happen for yourself. It is a fixed behavior of it, and it encompasses everything there is. It's made out of energy, right? So tell me, who is going to win this worthless fight, okay? If you are experiencing a lot of turmoil and difficulty in your life right now and feel frustrated with life, because it isn't responding or going in the way you want it to go. I suggest you sit down every single day and silence, and silence your mind. I'm gonna give you a few moments so that you go grab a pen and a paper, and I'm gonna give you some tips I personally practice where every, not every day I don't do every single one of them but most of them okay when i do uh, my my early routine okay and that are good to bring those levels down those levels of anxiety and stress okay so number one you can hermit yourself at least for 15 minutes a day that's nothing okay and uh, we can Listen to specialized YouTube healing and energy clearing meditations. They are free. And in YouTube, we have a large, large variety of them, okay? A large variety of them. And when I say specialized, that means that if we are specifically wanting to heal, for example, if you want to look for anxiety, uh, anxiety meditations there are specifically to lower and you have meditations to lower that help you lower anxiety okay for everything you want to do there is a meditation in youtube another thing we can do is practice a emotional journal a week an emotional journal right journaling and emotional self-awareness. Remember always what we feed, we grow. So whatever you focus on, if you focus on the problems, you will make the problems grow. It is a fixed behavior of energy. So we should not focus on the problem. We should focus on the lesson they're trying to teach us with this situation or situations that we may be living, okay? Ask for clarity in those lessons and open up to them. Pray and meditate. 
meditate about these things. We can do also breathing exercises. They are free also in YouTube. Breathing helps us oxygenate our blood, okay? And, and this lowers our stress levels. Another thing that I do and I love and I ask everybody to do every single day, because we are energy, we need to balance our energy fields, okay, our chakra system, balance them every single day. They are, they, we have a, I do one that is a 10 minute one every single day, okay? We can also take walks in nature. This helps us. Contact with nature always helps us, okay? And if you're right now, you are in a, in a place where it is cold, well, uh, I suggest you get a, a good jacket and go out, but make, try to make some kind of contact with nature always. Practice grounding yourself. And grounding is walking barefooted on ground, right, on grass or, uh, or sand, if you have sand where you live. But if you don't, if you can't do that right now because of the temperature, you can buy a grounding mat for your mattress. I have one and I sleep with one every single day, okay? And I live in a tropical island. I, I do both, <laughs> both grounding. But I sleep with a grounding mat, okay? And it is, this is super, super beneficial, super beneficial for you. Uh, we can practice sun gazing also. And if you can do that because of the temperature, you can do it uh, through a window pane in your home. Uh, we can practice outdoor, uh, outdoor sports. And if we can do that right now, again, we can use, we can substitute that with saunas. It's a sauna. Then we can listen to binaural beats or a use music therapy that also is free on YouTube and you can find a lot of frequencies for whatever you want to address, okay? Listen to specialized YouTube sleep meditations also. While we sleep is a great time to reprogram our mind. And when we wake up, we wake up fresh, okay? And when we, when we are praying, if we practice prayer, right? Or meditation, we can ask for help, but making again the correct questions, focusing on the lessons. Remember, we don't focus on what I, we don't ask. Normally what happens is a lot of people, when they pray, they ask, I don't want this or that to happen in my life. So you're coming from a negative space. And we are, we should not do that. We should come from positive faith. We ask for what we do want, not for what we don't want, because we're focusing on negative, okay? So, without trying to control the process nor the outcomes, please surrender. Surrender to the process. Stay assured and trust that you will receive the answers. When we receive the answers, when you receive your answers, receive them with gratitude and acceptance, no matter if it is not aligned with what you expected them to be. Permit your body to express the emotions it needs towards whatever those answers are for you, okay? Don't suppress, don't eat your emotions. It is not beneficial for us to eat our low vibrations. If we need to cry, if we need to scream, yell, if we need to punch our bed, 
we punch, if we need to exercise, if we need to dance, if we need to sing, we use, we transmute that energy, but we let our body express the anger, express and purge all that low frequency. Understand that this is what you needed to hear, to heal in your life. And you've arrived to your truths and to your revelations. Start acting upon those changes that you need to do at whatever level, attitude or behavior or belief, right? It doesn't matter if, they are, if you take big steps or small steps. The universe cares if you stay stagnant and don't move, okay? You need to move. You need to do something about it. And open up to receive your blessings. Congratulations. You are speaking now the language of the universe. You are speaking energy. And you will feel so, so good that you will be inspired to keep on growing and experiencing it. Once you experience feeling good, you won't want to go back. The same experience will validate your path of growth and expansion. I compare it always to what we feel when we are little babies and we start to walk, okay? It is so liberating, right? It is so liberating when the baby starts to walk. He feels so free. Uh, just like that, when we open up on our path of transformation, eh, this is how it feels. It feels very liberating, very expansive. It is growth. And, and you're going to be moved into a higher state of consciousness just by doing that. And because you've opened up to do it and you will receive, and you are speaking the language of energy, your blessings will pour in. You are in the flow. You are listening and learning the language of the universe. And finally, can be understood. So right now, starting now in March, this May, this month, right? In this month, this current month, Learn and speak the language of the universe, energy, and you will be understood. Okay, so with this message, I leave you today asking you to share this information, to like it so that many others can benefit from it. Please, if you need any help, feel free to contact me through Messenger or through my eolife360 at gmail.com email. Uh, I will surely be glad to help you, be of any help, okay? Uh, also, please go and join me over there in a YouTube, in my YouTube channel also, Evo Life 360 So please subscribe so that you can benefit from the new content we're going to be putting over there, okay? And as always, sending you love and light. All my blessings to you. Be well and see you next week here in the Mingles of Evil Life. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.